Okay, what up, people? We're back with a brand new workflow. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you appreciate the content. If you did not know, the Patreon got banned, so everything is lost on there. But we moved over to the WAP, and everything is going to be posted on there from now on, uh, including this workflow. Uh, this workflow is an all in one AI influencer kind of pipeline. Uh, that's going to let you make data sets and you might even be able to just create your images directly without, you know, uh, training a LoRa or anything like that. So if that's something that might interest you, head over to the WAP and grab the workflow. I'll go over every, over every single part and that's going to be the vid. Let's get it. Okay, so the first part of the workflow is basically Zimish Turbo. We are creating the base face for our influencer. Um, that's the base model, nothing too crazy. The only difference here is that we use the Ultra Flux VAE, which is different from the normal uh, VAE that would be used with Zimish Turbo. This one is way better when it comes to details and realism. So I'll put the links for everything in the post like I always do. But this is um, a good uh, thing to change if you didn't try it yet. So we create the face. Then the face gets pushed to a coin image edit. Uh, we use 2509 here. The reason why I'm not using 2511, which is technically better right it is better in most tasks but for this specific task um it's just buggy i don't know why i don't know what the issue is but it just doesn't work really well uh but this part here is to make multiple angles of the face using your original image so obviously uh you're gonna have to change the prompt here if uh, you want to get different type of angles. I only generated five images here, but you can set it to, um, you know, use all the prompts. Uh, if you want to get multiple emotions for uh, data set training, uh, you can do that here as well. And this is the kind of result we get. So I think it's, I mean, it's fine, right? Doesn't look too bad. Uh, and we can then upscale those uh, with Zimish Turbo if we need. Then we have a uh, body generation. So here you have a couple of options. Uh, we can use Chroma or we can use Zimish Turbo. The difference between the two is that uh, Chroma is essentially uh, trained on not safe work material. So you'll get better um, uncensored content from this than from, you know, uh, Z Turbo or SDXL probably even. Uh, but here, this is a uh, Zimish Turbo that's plugged in. So it's just generating an image. Uh, what I've seen too is that uh, Z image loves to create Asian girls. I don't know why, but it just does. I mean, I know why it was probably trained on a lot of Asian girl um, images that's probably the reason um so yeah you have a choice chroma or zimis turbo or even sdxl could work here you'll just have to meet the connections yourself um but yeah then we have the sam free full head masking so we um we send the image directly to sam free and we ask it to mask the hair and the head and then we um, composite the mask to make one final mask. Then we send that image directly to Quinn Image Edit again to do the full head swap. Uh, and this is the reason why we mask the hair and the face together and not only one or the other. We want to change the whole head, not only one part, right? Um, and we also use media pipe to get the proper uh, rotation and angle of the face here uh, Then we uh, So this is the before and after Okay uh, Some people might say okay. She has the plastic skin issue whatever whatever. Okay, that is true. So What we do is we run it through a Zimish turbo one last time and It's gonna add up the details that were lost 
and I think we, I think this is a pretty good result. Um, and obviously, uh, this is the whole pipeline, but obviously these can also go through uh, the Zmers Turbo Upscaling if you want to get more fade details on the face. And that's essentially the workflow. So with that, you'll be able to get a base face, multiple angles of that face, and head swapped images with high, you know, uh, quality uh, without even training a LoRa but you can use those to train the LoRa. And uh, if you generate a, a not safe for image here, it's gonna do the face swap on that image, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's pretty much the workflow. Um, obviously there's multiple models going on here, so uh, you might need to separate uh, the workflows. I might do that actually. Uh, I might just do multiple workflows for um people to use sequentially instead of all at once but i'll see that's pretty much it like i said head over to the wap if you want to grab this workflow um and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one peace